Right now, two chairs, either end of the table. Last week we did the sitting to standing exercise. We're gonna do that again today, just throwing in an additional maneuver. So again, we're up straight, tall and proud. We're up straight, tall and proud. Feet and knees, hip width apart, chin up. Hip walk to the edge of the chair. Little pedal of the feet just to get the blood pumping around the body, oxygen to the brain before we stand up, helping to reduce dizziness, lightheadedness when we do stand. Now, bring the feet back, the toes back, so the knees are slightly over there, chin up, nice straight back, and then we just lean forwards until the nose is just slightly over the toes there, and then we go from sitting to standing. If you need to use the hands on the side of the chair for additional bit of uh, support there, please do. We're up, standing, a little pedal of the feet. Good. And now, we're just going to walk. Behind the next chair. And then we're gonna sit down in the other chair there. So, feet and knees hip width apart, slight bend in the knees, and we're just gonna lower that rear, taking a bow, nice straight back, taking a bow, we've got the nose over the toes again, slowly lower on to the chair. There we go, take a moment. Hip walk forwards to the edge of the chair, pedal. Knees slightly over the toes. Again, can use the hands there for a little bit of support, but the idea is minimal support from the hands. We want the legs to do the exercises. So you can have the hands on the side of the chair, on the lap there, or totally hands free. Sit to stand. We're up straight, little pedal. Now, just going to take a little walk behind the chair. Now, we shall sit ourselves down on the first chair. So feet and knees hip width apart. Slight bend in the knee, and we're going to lower that rear, lower that rear under control onto the chair. Take a little bow, noses over the toes again, and lower onto the seat. Let's have a little pedal. If you've only got one chair, you can just repeat on the same chair. Lovely. Let's do one more of those. Hip walk forwards to the edge of the chair. Bring the feet back, the toes back, so the knees are slightly uh, over the toes there. Minimal use of the hands, but if you do need to use them, please do for a bit of support. So then nice straight back, chin up, but then we just lean forward to touch till the nose is over the knees and toes there. And then generating the power from the feet through the legs, standing up tall, straight and proud. We're nice, straight, tall and proud. Nice straight legs, just shy of locking the knees. Let's have a little pedal on the spot, get the blood pumping oxygen to the brain, helping to reduce dizziness, lightheadedness. Okay. A little walk. Now, if you want to Take your walk down the side of the table there so you've got a bit of support. Please do. Nice little walk around the back of the chair. And now we shall lower the rear onto the chair. Feet and knees hip width apart. Now we want to lower under control because gravity, we don't, we don't, we want to lower ourselves onto the chair, not gravity. So we don't want to flop or plonk onto the chair. It's all under control. So taking a bow, chin up, nice straight back. We lower the rear onto the seat. So 
So you see, it's all under control. We're fighting gravity there. We're making the muscles do the work. And down we go. Very good. So that's how I want it. I don't want clonking. And the closer we get, the more we'll want to fight. But the stronger we get our legs, the more controlled this movement will be. A little pedal on the spot. 